Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Private Pwn. Welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the supply drops and basically how they work and some secrets behind them. Now, in this video, I'm going to be watching some gameplay of me earning some supply drops while going in depth on how these are earned and as well as some awesome gameplay I've gotten during the Double XP weekend. So going on into today's topic, as you know supply drops are loot crates that are earned randomly in the game which do give you enlisted professional or elite items, ranging anywhere from care packages that can give you UAVs or even paladins. And then also 15, 30 or 45 minutes of double XP and as well as classified types of guns, varying with range, handling and other classifications on that weapon. So as you may have been told these supply drops are just earned randomly. In my further investigation, these supply drops are actually earned every three games. Now in order for these three games to count, you must play completely through the game mode, no backing out or dashboarding. You must play the full game all the way through when it takes you back to the pre-game lobby. Playing through three games might come out to an average between 30 and 40 minutes, so either way you put it, three games or every 30 40 minutes you're going to be earning a supply drop. Another thing that I found is earning these supply drops can become easier whenever you're the other team's first blood. Whenever I'm in a pretty poor lobby, I actually just run into the center of the map and let one of the newbie guys on the other team kill me, and sometimes I do end up getting a supply drop. One of my theories behind these supply drops is the longer you wait to open them, the more rare the items inside are going to be. Now keep in mind this is not confirmed, it is just my personal speculation and theory. Now I do know from experience, at a lower level these supply drops do give you things that you don't necessarily want, such as the classic Nigerian knee pads or helmets. Now of course if you do earn something that you don't necessarily want, you can go to the armory and sell it for XP. Now ranging in from enlisted will give you 500 XP, professional 1000 and elite 2000 XP. Now of course if you do earn an awesome exo suit or gun that you want to keep, make sure you equip it on your soldier and make sure you use it in game. One thing I have noticed is whenever I'm using a gun that I have earned from a supply drop and then I earn another supply drop, I get another gun of that class from the supply drop. Just like my ASM-1, I have about 6 different variants of this gun and my speculation behind that is because I like to use that gun and I've been getting a lot from supply drops which my main theory is because whenever I do unlock a new one I use it and whenever I get a new supply drop I've been using that weapon. So make sure you drop a comment down below letting me know if you think my speculation is correct or if you have any other personal experiences with these supply drops. Now, of course, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you pump punch that like button. And of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. We're very, very close to 4,000 subscribers, which is very awesome. And coming out next week, I'm going to be starting my new daily live series featuring live free-for-all, live infected, and my race to master prestige. And also my effort to get the highest rank in ranked play. So if you do want to see more of these series, make sure you do stay tuned on my channel. Unfortunately guys, that's the conclusion of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and of course, make sure you stay tuned for more awesome Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. That's it for this video. Private Cone, signing out.